What is going on guys? Broken Machine here. Hope you guys are all doing good today and welcome to a new video regarding the Battlefield 5 Gamescom trailer that we saw yesterday. I'll actually be at Gamescom next week in Germany, hoping to get my hands on the game once again. So if I do get some playtime, what would you guys like to see more of? Do let me know down in the comments below. So anyway, why am I hyped? What did we see? And what do we think about it? Also, I'd love to know, are you guys more interested in BF5 now than you were after seeing the initial trailers and the alpha gameplay? Anyway, let's have a look at what we saw in the trailer. Right at the end of it, we got a first glimpse of the Battle Royale in BF5. And I've gotta be honest, it looks pretty amazing. Just imagine being one of the lucky few left in that final circle as that ring of fire is closing in around you. That just looks insane. Other BR games, you've got this basic looking circle that has barely any presence in the environment and the map. It is there, but they don't quite have the same effect as a wall of fire, do they? It looks incredible. It takes absolutely everything with it. The buildings, they go first, they crumble, so much destruction going on there. Those guys in the sniper tower are totally screwed. Do hope DICE give us an extra parachute after we land, maybe? Are we landing? Do we land? I don't know. Are we jumping out of a plane? We don't know yet. It would be pretty cool if we could pick up a parachute off the ground as well, like pick up items in certain places, that could be pretty awesome. And right at the end here, just a few frames, you can see a guy on the jeep come screaming in as well. Wow, I bet that's pretty insane. Imagine being on the back of the jeep, looking at the flames coming in after you. That just sounds so awesome. There is just so much going on here in such little time. It looks crazy. And here we have the tank as well. How will that be balanced, I wonder? Back in Battlefield Bad Company 2, there was actually a mode called Squad Deathmatch. Four squads versus each other in Team Deathmatch and one tank available in the middle of the map for players to fight over. Let's hope DICE does something similar with this. Also, I'd actually prefer it if the tank would spawn in random places to ensure the meta doesn't become too repetitive. I wouldn't worry too much about these vehicles, I'm sure they've considered balance and of course they are quite easily spotted, seen and heard. Honestly, I am really hyped about this. Just imagine Battle Royale with everything DICE has done so far. The squad play, the new gun mechanics, the new verticality that we haven't seen too much in BF1, but is all over the place in this new trailer. So much good gunfights could go on there and picture this the easter eggs as well. They've been a huge part of Battlefield up to this point, and oh man, it would be such a massive missed opportunity if they don't include them in Battle Royale. Also lastly, the industrial pipe here, is that BF1's version of the frying pan from PUBG? It could be. Anyway, enough of Battle Royale, lots more to see throughout the trailer. Here is one of the new maps, Rotterdam, looking very promising and very nice. Promising I say because I'm getting Amiens and Sen Crossing vibes here, two of what I would say are some of the best maps in Battlefield history, especially when it comes to infantry gameplay and vehicles as well. What do you think guys? What did you, what did you think about those maps from BF3 and BF1? Did you enjoy those? For those who haven't played either, they were pretty much infantry infantry focused, vehicles did well on them but you had to be a good player and there, there were some nice moments with vehicles versus vehicles gameplay. Look at this section here, you got the trams up top, streets down below, both areas very self contained, they're each their own spaces so expect plenty of battles above and down below but also expect some level of interaction between them. For example, attacking from above, battles on the stairs, sniper engagements from each side of the tracks as well. So much potential here for a variety in engagements, something that I feel has kind of been lacking in BF1. Even the destruction here is very BF-like, very similar to Sen Crossing and even Grand Bazaar. Look at the walls coming down, so so similar. Here in this clip, I assume these are British soldiers falling back, probably a part of this single player campaign. And this guy smashing through the window, again interaction between these areas, but once again look at this soldier up here, engaging with enemies down below, meanwhile troops are pushing up outside, again these areas are very self contained, battles can purely just be inside of these, but they interact with each other in various ways. This is something I really wanted to see, I'm really happy it's here, it's something that provides 
variety. No battle, I hope, will ever be quite the same in these areas. So good to see it if it's true. I expect it will be. Here, this image actually illustrates the potential in variety perfectly. Just imagine the fights going on up here, up and down the tram tracks, on the stairs, underneath the bridge, back in these buildings over here, down near the boats, swimming underneath the boats maybe to get a flank on. So much good stuff could happen here. Wow, it could be so, so good. Honestly, it's got me really excited again. I'm kind of tired of the open maps, especially the one we've seen in the closed alpha. It's okay, it needs work, but I want these more variety engagements kind of maps that these urban maps often provide. This building here, by the way, is the White House. It's actually one of the few to survive the German bombing campaigns of World War II. Next, we see this V1 rocket coming in, pretty much destroying the entire building. I doubt it will level it completely. Maybe. We'll have to wait and see. Next, the map switches over to what's left of Rotterdam, a second version of the map. I doubt the V1 rocket will actually change up the map in the final game. I think this is just for the trailer. Just a cut, I guess. Or, you know, actually, maybe in operations, this is what we'll see as the maps switch over. As far as we know, there will be two versions of this map. Not sure if we will see both for Conquest and other modes, but I'm sure we will for Operations. A very different feel this one, as you can probably tell. Very dark, gloomy, with a few neon signs brightening up the dust and ash covered areas in places. Just look at the difference between the two versions here. That is just, oh, that is so gorgeous. One completely destroyed by the war, the other looking like people were just here enjoying their breakfast and morning coffee just moments ago. Bicycle on the floor there. A very nice touch, I'm loving the details. Plenty more in this trailer. I do recommend skipping through it yourself. There is just so much to talk about if you're into that kind of thing. I'm not sure why, but I get a feeling of Operation Metro here. Not underground, of course, but with these trains over there totally destroyed, perhaps we will see sections inspired by that fan favorite map. I don't know about you guys, but I'd like to see a Metro style map to be in included in BF5. I personally would. Less choke points of course, never a fan of those. Less verticality in this map as well it would seem. Hopefully a different feel to the previous map. I'm sure many of you do like urban maps like me, but of course we don't want too much of the same feeling do we? As the trailer progresses we see more battles on the same level here. I'm guessing we will see plenty of choke points with this one, less verticality of course, more vehicle gameplay and potentially plenty of snipers doing well here as well. That's just my guess judging from the long lines of sight. A flag can be seen here in the St. Lawrence Church. Just imagine the battles inside of there. Could be pretty cool. We also got a glimpse of other maps, some we've seen in previous trailers and official artwork. Dynamic weather has been confirmed to return, and we see a sandstorm here. Looking pretty awesome, definitely less annoying as what we had back in Battlefield 4. Let's hope DICE doesn't have these going on all the time. It is a cool and neat feature, but it can be quite annoying. Anyone who's played BF4 will know about that. Of all the scenes in the trailer, this one actually stood out to me the most. A single wounded soldier, on their own, helplessly calling out for someone to save them. Wow. On this next map, this soldier nearly gets road killed by a plane here. No idea what kind of map this is, could be British, I'm not too sure. This is actually the first map we saw back in the original trailer. Over here you can see a flag, could be very tricky making your way over to cap that. I imagine vehicles will uh, do much better over there. Perhaps this will be a uh, kind of vehicle focused map, I'm not too sure. Judging from the initial trailer, it could be infantry in places, hopefully it is on that bridge over there. Let's hope we can actually fight on that, that could be pretty awesome. And do remember from the original trailer, it looks like this bridge could be, uh, I don't know if it's going to be you know, part of just you know, moving to the next map in operations, but we could see it actually being taken down as we're playing it. That could be pretty cool. Next, we get a glimpse at what appears to be North Africa, a confirmed setting for the game's single player campaign. At the top here, the ocean could indicate some key battles. I'm sure you history buffs out there will know well. And look at that, that jumping tiger tank. <laughs> look at the guy in the background as well. <laughs> I do love a bit of vehicles in the air action, that is pretty awesome. Plenty of vehicle action here going on, looking very promising. I have been dying for a decent vehicle section ever since playing that one all the way back in BF3. Do you guys remember this? It looks incredibly similar, doesn't it? The next map appears to be also set in Norway, high up in the mountains, featuring a nice mix of air to ground combat and plenty of infantry action here. 
Throughout this trailer, planes seem to be going very fast and very close to the ground. I hope that is the case for the final game. It looks incredibly intense. Next map looks pretty incredible. Farming fields full of rape seeds, and that is just one insane shot right there. Wow, can we just replay that a few times? That looks awesome. Customization is a little less colorful than what we saw in the initial trailers. A very subtle Union Jack on the British soldiers gas mask here. I do like showing off the fancy gold skins, but I would love to see more subtle customizations like these. A Churchill tank here with snake mine tubes, probably only a mine clearing feature in the campaign and only a visual customization option for multiplayer. This German Panzer IV features barbed wire and spikes on the tracks. Loving the paint job on this plane here too as well. Hope we do see the level of customization as seen here. Showing off your medals would be pretty awesome. Now onto weapons, plenty of new ones were shown during the trailer, but look at this, throwing knives are returning. Not seen this since Battlefield Hardline, I do hope they have some weight to them and aren't too easy to use. We also saw what appears to be the Suomi KP-31 submachine gun equipped with a bipod. A British Vickers K machine gun, that's a light machine gun with 1000 rounds per minute fire rate, interesting iron sights on that one. Rifle grenades return, not sure how I feel about that, hopefully they'll be more tactical and less spammy than BF1. The German FG42 automatic rifle is here, a bayonet here as well, let's also hope these aren't quite as easy to use as in BF1, not a big fan of those. This shotgun here is the M30 Luftwaffe drilling, two 12 gauge shotgun shells and a rifle round intended for shooting game. An interesting weapon that one. This could be the M1907 SL, another weapon returning from BF1. Still hoping for that Martini Henry. Please include it in dice, we really need it. Next we have what appears to be the MP40 with some interesting optical sights here. I imagine these will be the BF1 AA equivalent. This Gewehr 43 here has iron sights instead of a scope. Honestly just what I needed, I wasn't a huge fan of the scope in the Alpha. Car 98 with iron sights here, perhaps we will see infantry variants of weapons like these in BF1 as well. Car 98 here again, this time with a custom ring sight. And this appears to be an M1 carbine. Plenty of vehicles as well, Tiger tank with a commander up top. I imagine this is single player footage, wouldn't want to be getting sniped up there. This is what appears to be a Valentine tank on the right here. In this shot we see a Sturmtiger covered in Zimmeret, a paste like coating and a hard layer covering the metal armour of the vehicle which would prevent magnetically attached anti-tank mines from sticking to the vehicle. I like the sound of that. A four wheel jeep appears here, same as the battle royale section I believe, again could be a mounted machine gun on the back there. Plenty of planes as well. The BF-109, a German World War II fighter aircraft. Can we use this tractor here? Who knows? I'd actually love to see more civilian vehicles added, you know, like the uh, skid loaders in BF4. They were pretty fun, and these community events organized by DICE on the CT were hilarious. I'd love to do those again. This looks to be the Panzer Spa Wagon, armored car over here. Totally butchered that pronunciation there. Here is the Mosquito Multi Roll Aircraft. And well, that's all I've got, guys. Probably missed a few things. Oh well, I'm excited. This looks freaking incredible, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. Especially Battle Royale. That looks amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and my perspective on the trailer. Looking so much better than the Alpha, I've got to say. Please let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll see you guys soon. Drop a like if you enjoyed this, and I'm looking forward to BF5. Catch you later, guys. Take it easy.